Hi, this is Wendell Odom, and welcome to the chapter study plan for the ICND 1 book, Chapter 6. Everything on all the chapters is fair game on the test, but this video just gives you some hints and tips and suggestions about how you might approach studying each chapter. First off, during your first pass through the chapter, you want to pay particularly close attention to the TCP and UDP discussions. You want to dig into this. This is the only part of the book, in fact, only part of either of the two books associated with CCNA, where you really dig into depth on TCP in particular. So dig in there. You want to uh, remember the terminology in the security section at the end of the chapter. But for the app stuff in the beginning of the chapter, just get the general idea. You don't have to get real uh, particular with that. Next, after you finish the chapter and you do your review, focus on TCP and UDP again, and make sure you're good on the terminology. Once you're through that, you're actually through the first part of the book, the first six chapters. So you want to review, and you want to, again, focus on TCP because it's the only place in the book you're going to see much about it. But you also want to think about this figure at the bottom of the screen. At this point, you should be able to think about the layer 2, layer 3, layer 4, and app layer stuff that's happening in the context of this picture. For instance, if we give the client A an IP address like 1.1.1.1, and we make host B on the right be a web server, say it's the searchskills.com web server, what can you tell me about how HTTP works, for instance, between these two? What can you tell me about TCP? What can you tell me about the packets that go back and forth between the two? What can you tell me about what happens with TCP before the first bit of data flows between these two hosts? So you want to ask yourselves the technology that you just learned in this chapter in the context of this drawing and see how much you can uh, recreate. And I don't know for sure yet, but I hope to do a techie topic on that exact uh, figure with that exact concept, what happens with TCP and HTTP in this context. Now, I had suggested that you pay close attention to TCP during the part review. By the way, if you're really studying for the CCNA exam, taking the one exam path instead of two exam path to CCNA, you'll actually see some more about TCP, in particular TCP port numbers, when you get into the access control list topics in the second book. So you will get a little bit more there, but if you're going just for the first exam, definitely want to sink your teeth into the TCP discussions here. Then in your final review for the whole book, once you've read all the chapters, review TCP, really review those concepts layer two and up about what goes back and forth between that web client and web server in the picture at the bottom of the page. And by the way, congratulations, you've made it through the first part of the first book on your way to CCNT and CCNA. Way to go. Talk to you soon.